I'm Anne McCune and I'm a liver specialist at the Bristol Royal Infirmary and I've been a clinical advisor for a charity called the British Liver Trust for a number of years now. In the summer of last year they challenged me to do something really exciting, fly to Marrakesh and then undertake a journey across the high Atlas Mountains to the edge of the Sahara Desert. Hello, we're in sunny Marrakesh and we're on day one of our North African adventure and we're off to the High Atlas Mountains today on our way to the Sahara. So we've just reached a typical Moroccan casbah which you can see in the distance which we'll explore at some stage. It's taken us about five hours, five to six hours of travelling to get here to this wonderful panorama. And in the background you may be able to hear he's just stopped. There we are, some form of musician, snake charmer back in the citadel. It's day two and we're leaving Wazarati and we're heading off over the Anti-Atlas Mountains to um, a place called M. Hamid, which is the end of the road and the beginning of Sahara. So we've stopped now to purchase our Saharan headgear. Suits you. Am I turning into Lawrence of Arabia yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Oh, look, there we are. This is the best picture. Hang on. Oh, good. <laughs> so, these are our first steps into the Sahara. It's quite hot and the sun's not that deep at the moment, thankfully. But we've now got Belinda here after her two hour hike, and she's going to kindly show us just how much sand you can get in a pair of hiking boots at the end of a day's walking. Size five, so go, Belinda, go, go, Belinda, go. <laughs> now, there's an impressive amount going to be here. Look at that, that's half the Sahara in there. <laughs> Not too bad. Finally, follow me on Twitter and a big thank you to Sequana Medical and Alpha Pump Technology who kindly sponsored me on this trek and made these short videos possible.